Oh, hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. We we're just watching some telly with Logan. So he's finally able to actually watch telly. We've got a decent telly. We've got the couple of VHSs that we've got. So it's about time we actually watch some stuff. We're now watching Mum's Tape, I believe it is. Nothing really happened with that. Fine, well, we'll uh, put on a different one. The Magical Wonderland. Time to visit the Magical Wonderland. Sponsored by Spiffos. Of course it's sponsored by Spiffos. Hello, Spiffo. Who's your little friend? Bloofy Foot the Fluffy Bunny. Have you ever seen a rabbit so fluffy and scrumptious? Disco dancing. Such fun jumping and jiving, ducking and diving. Moving to the amazing beat. Okay, so it doesn't look like any of them particularly help our experience go up. We'll, go, we'll just go through the rest of them, see if they do anything. Here's your sandwich, sir. Have a nice day. What is this? Rye bread? It tastes like cardboard. Sorry, sir. Next, please. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. This is very bizarre. Oh my god, now there's a robbery. Jesus. Okay. Right, so it doesn't look like any of these are actually getting our skills up. I thought they might do, but it doesn't look like they are. John Gorham's breeding cows for aliens? What? <laughs> what is this? I mean, these are all very, very cool, but they're not getting our skills up or anything, which is a shame. But they're still very funny just to look at. Okay, well, we've gone through all of the uh, all the tapes we've got. So we'll chuck all of these back. And we'll actually start the episode properly, <laughs> which is what we should have done. So this episode, I'm planning to do a few different bits. I want to try and get some hunting done. As I said last episode, I want to try and get our trophy collection complete. And I'm hoping that we can get bison and moose during winter. I know we can hunt moose because I've seen one, but I don't know about anything else. So... Let's equip this in both hands. And we're just going to try some hunting. I haven't really done a huge run off camera because my plan is that I'm going to probably do all the... Oh, it's foggy. Can we even hunt during the fog? I don't know. I'm going to do probably the more interesting bits on camera while it's still early winter. And I'll probably make the pontoons and stuff off camera when it gets to heavy winter. Because that's going to take a long time. And during heavy winter, when it gets to like minus 10 and stuff outside, it's probably going to be pretty boring for you to watch. So yeah, I'm um, I'm probably going to do as much as I can early winter. So probably go back to the mainland, do one more big trip, get ice cube trays and stuff like that. See if I can find any more spirits and things so I can make cocktails. We'll come back and we'll settle back down again. But I think at least getting one more lot of gas, getting some more floors, some interesting flooring, getting some more decorations and stuff for the base. I think that would be good. Right, so we can actually do it. So let's just keep going until we find something like a moose or a boar or something or maybe a bison if we're lucky it's um it's a lot hard to see something during winter from my experience i don't know if we're going to get lucky and find anything the the big biggest problem is actually misclicking if you click and you get too complacent with the fact that you're just clicking and not really paying enough attention then you'll miss it so we're just going to want to pay attention see if we can see anything i'm hoping a moose but i'll, I'll settle for a boar at this point so that we can uh, actually eat something that'd be nice oh <gasps> we can hunt bison didn't hit it well that's at least proof that bison are a thing in winter right we've got a moose shoot it has escaped damn it there are definitely are moose as well here we go damn it i've right, got a boar oh we hurt it but it escaped damn it got a moose <gasps> yes we did it got a big old moose and that's another trophy to add to our collection oh look at that 67 hunger oh, i don't think we're gonna eat it just out of that let's go get the slapper knife well that's another load of uh, food hopefully for winter which will be nice oh i can't believe we did that that's amazing we just got the bison to go now and then we're done chop dead moose oh my god look at all that i right, got moose head how, how many moose steaks do we get quite a lot nice that's amazing but we've got moose head for the wall we're going to find, figure out somewhere to put this one now maybe out here put it there oh look at that got a moose head oh amazing right so that's <laughs> that's that's another thing that we've can uh, tick off the list we've literally just got the bison to go now and then we're done well there is the cow but does the cow actually count i don't know uh hog casings we can use to do sausages and things but we need this sausage maker which I'm hoping we'll be able to get when we go to the trip to the mainland again. Uh, I really just want to get... get If we get the sausage maker, uh, the Gourmet Revolution 1, and also maybe the 9mm mag, 
I'll be I'll be happy. I don't think I I don't think I'll need to do anything else. I think that'll be all the magazines I really need. Uh, it'll be nice to get the climatology one so we can read the weather. But to us, because we can't seem to find any of the fishing books, it, I think we're just going to have to leave that for another series. Right, so this is going to be interesting. So I haven't actually turned the antique oven on uh, in the last day and a half, I think. So it'll be interesting to see if they are still okay in here and what the health is like. If it is, that means that at least early winter, we should be able to keep our crops going without lighting the antique oven. 94 health, 100 health. That, that's fine. Right, so it's all, they're all quite high. Okay, excellent. Oh, disease, devil's water fungus. It's nearly completed anyway. That was quite a useful thing on Reddit I saw. I don't know if it's true, but it seemed to be the case that you can actually f cure devil's water fungus by underwatering a crop for um, a period of time, after which it should cure devil's water fungus. That was a few versions ago, so I don't know if that's still technically true. The chances are it's only going to be a day, maybe two, and it will have grown. So I'm hoping by that point, in the next day or two, we should be able to just harvest it anyway and not have to worry too much. It would probably give us less produce from it if we harvest it with that, but not that big a deal. We've got this. We've got the slingshot. We should be able to watch tree. Here we go. It's the only things I've been able to find. Oh, I misclicked. Damn it. We actually saw a bird. That's the first time I've seen a bird. Last time I did that, saw no birds. Nothing at all. So if we can actually still hunt crows, that is something because I didn't think we could. I'm really glad to miss misclick now. It's been a couple of minutes and I still haven't seen anything. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, so maybe let's just try shooting it just normally. Okay, it made us extremely tired. I don't think we got anything from it. No, absolutely nothing at all. Okay, so yeah, clearly winter is much, much harder to do that. We do end up a tiny amount of hunting experience, but not a huge amount. I think like four. That was a complete waste of like 40 stones. So... Yeah, hunting is a lot harder during winter. It's still possible, very much so. Like we got the we got the moose and stuff, and we did see that crow, so it is possible, but it's hard. So just keep that in mind. Well, we're already exhausted. Um, <clears throat> maybe we should make another model kit. I maybe we should make another model or something. I guess. I'm sorry for those of you who got excited about the fact that I said we we're taking Mr. Plinky with us. I completely forgot to even upgrade him with the uh, baseball bat and i did say that he would be back up in case the machete broke so i promise i will use him like next time we go uh because i did want to use him i, I missed the sound he made <laughs> he made the most amazing sound right can we now upgrade him we can there we go pro back grip so how much does this make his uh damage go up oh that's a quite a good chunk that's not too bad actually right we're definitely gonna be using him next time we go to the mainland then which is nice so what we're going to want to do now is go to sleep now. We will set an alarm, actually, on our watch, which I don't think we've done all series. Uh, set an alarm. We'll go for 8 o'clock. And what we're going to do is we're going to run up and we're going to set some traps down so that we can catch squirrels. Because we should have plenty of peanuts. 26 peanuts. There they all are. Right, so that's all from uh, farming. There we go. At that point, we're good. Uh, we could potentially use the bear traps here and see if anything will... Maybe that's how we get the cow. Maybe we just uh, trap it instead. Got all these cage traps. Let's take them. What does it say we need to uh, to do this? We could use cereal. 10%. Usually seeks food at 8 to 16 hours. Right, okay. So basically we want to we want to put food down just before 8 then, I guess. Okay, good. No, so we could use some of our cereal then, worst comes to worst. Okay, let's lie down. Go to sleep. And then our alarm should go off. We'll then do some trapping. There we go. We're good. We're still a bit tired, but that's good, because then we can just go straight to sleep when we get in. Uh, we'll set another alarm, I think, for early in the morning, before 8. So we'll set an, oh, we'll set an alarm for 6 o'clock, say? That'll be fine. We'll wake up, we'll run up, uh, check the traps we've already set. We'll, uh, we'll place the bear traps down and put some cereal in them. And that'll be good. And then maybe, hopefully, we'll catch a cow, which will be exciting. Here we go. Oh, it looks like quite a few of them have already broken because I left them. I really need to pick them up if I'm not using them. Okay, let's place some traps. Right, and then we want to add some bait to these. Uh, we'll add cabbage to a couple of these ones, and then we'll add peanuts to the rest of them. Okay, that's decent. Let's, uh, let's eat these small bird meat. We should be fine with that. This make us a little bit unhappy, but it's fine. <laughs> then we'll go to sleep. And everything will be fine. Okay, right. 10 to 7. Let's run up. Place the bear traps. See if anything has sprung our other traps. Well, we've got a couple of cockroaches we can spring on them. I know 
Barry's tucking into them, but Barry, you can uh, you can hold off for a little bit. Um, you know, we haven't got long left on these cabbages, so I kind of want to use them up as quickly as possible. Peanuts don't go off, so I'd rather just use the cabbage. I probably should have done that earlier. So it looks like we sprung quite a few of these. How many, how many did we get? Six small... So we got six squirrels. That's amazing. And how much did that get our trapping up? Oh, we're nearly halfway to level three. Cool. At level three, we can make our own cage traps. We really want to get that sorted so that we can replenish them as and when needed. Right. Seed bearing zucchinis. Here we go. And we can harvest the uh, watermelons as well. Right. So how many zucchinis do we get? Eight. Nice. Get some watermelons. Oh, look at that. Fresh watermelons. How much hunger? 60 hunger each. Jesus. Okay. Um, that's incredible. Each one of them has 60. That'll keep us fed forever. We've got loads of them. That is a lot of food. And they weigh a ton. <laughs> okay. Let's grab the other zucchini. Oh, actually, it hasn't rained in a while, though. That's a thought. It's at 300 each. Ugh. We're only a week into winter, and um, we're already quite short on water. Okay. Um, maybe I should cut back on the farming, then. I probably should have built more rain collectors. It's fine. It's all fine. We'll cut back. We've got loads of these watermelons, so this will keep us uh, going for quite a long time. But very fresh for eight days. That's fine. I think if we smash them, it lowers that considerably. So we're going to want to keep as many of these whole as possible. I think we'll keep one out and then we'll uh, smash that one and eat ourselves. I think that'll be good. Slice the watermelon. Oh, when's the last time we had watermelon, Logan? A long time ago, I think. Here we go. Oh, look at that. We still get 60 hunger back, which is exciting, but we get more thirst doing it this way as well, which is quite good. Yeah, it says out of uh, very fresh until four days. That's considerably less than what it is if we kept it whole. Right, we are going up in weight now, so we're going to have to watch out for that. Uh, the cabbages are starting to rot. They might even rot before it gets to seven o'clock tonight. Let's go to sleep. Because we're a bit tired, and hopefully by the time we wake up... Oh, we didn't put the... Where are they? Bear traps. Ah! Quickly run up. <laughs> run up, run up, run up. Place trap, bear trap, here. And then we'll place another one over here. Put cereal in them both. And then we'll uh, run away, go to sleep, and we'll come back and check. Add bait cereal. Just realised this fruit that Logan's just eaten, the watermelon. When was the last time Logan actually ate fruit that wasn't from a can? Is this the first fruit that Logan's eaten in, like, a long time? I think it might be. Especially watermelon. I think we ate watermelon maybe once in the first series, right at the beginning of series one. I think we picked up some watermelon and we smashed it, from what I remember vaguely. So I think it's, it's been basically a whole year since he's had watermelon and probably since he's had fresh fruit in general. So we're able to get Logan to have some uh, fresh fresh food once again. Right, okay. Nearly eight o'clock. Uh, need to get our slapper knife out just on the off chance that there happens to be a cowl in the bear trap. That would be exciting. I don't think we're going to find any, but you never know. Uh, we've also got the peanuts on us, so we can chuck them in the traps as well. That still has... That still has bait. That still has bait. That still has bait. That still has bait. Oh, okay. There we go. That'll, that'll do. Uh, right. Peanuts. Peanuts seem a lot more likely to actually catch stuff. Check the bear traps, see if they've caught anything. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Uh, no, they've still got bait. they still got bait. Fine. Okay, fine. We will, we will check again in the morning. <laughs> Okay, Logan is a, still a bit unhappy and it's not going away. So, you know what? Turn on the light. We'll uh, drink this uh, amber beer. Sure. Read bottle info. Term used in Australia, France, and North America for pale ales drew the portion of amber malt and some of crystal malt to produce an amber colouring general ranging from light copper to light brown. Ah, good to know. Um, well, that didn't really satisfy him, so maybe a can as well. We're still a bit unhappy. Okay, another one. Screw it. There we go. <laughs> We're now a bit tipsy. That's that's fine. But we're no longer unhappy, which is the important thing. Right, and that's sleep. Getting tipsy made us very, very tired. Right, are they done? They are done. Right, excellent. They're the ones with the, the devil's fun guy on them. What do we get from them? Okay, we got no zucchinis from them. Um, I think we might have got a couple of seeds. Oh, we've got the carrots. Ready for harvest carrots. Harvesting one should give us a lot more actual carrots than seeds yeah 10 carrots uh maybe we'll do two 
There we go. 21 carrots. Nice. We'll leave these two to go to seed, and then that means that we should be able to plant another four crops in the future. But 21 carrots means that we can definitely catch some rabbits, which is exciting. Uh, that's continuing to rot. I might as well just chuck them straight in the composter before I go up. They're just going to rot. Uh, what is our weight like? It's going up, and we're at 81. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm so happy that we've grown all this stuff. <laughs> it's like completely changed the game because before i think it was depressing that you got past a certain stage you could never really have fresh fruit and hardly any fresh veg it was just a little bit sad uh, especially when you know that if you go to like like a little shop or something that sells farming goods you would have all the seeds in the world basically so it's nice that you can actually grow all of these now right we've caught one thing for definite add bait uh carrots we'll go we'll go straight for the carrots that one's still got stuff. That one's still got stuff. That one has... That one does. Okay. We'll check these traps just to see. No. Add bait. Okay. Uh, cereal. We've got one squirrel. Not amazing. But it's something. Maybe we should do a little bit of fishing. I know it's not, like, great right now because of it's not peak time, but we could do. See if we can catch anything. Something to pass time, I guess. Most of our freezers now are pretty full, which is exciting. Uh, don't have long to go and we'll have fully stocked freezers so pretty tough really uh we are going to want to keep doing some farming but like i said we don't want to go through all our water stocks we've probably got enough water to last another another month or so the fruit trees i'm a little bit worried about but we do have two full containers there which is fine and we've also got the spare containers there if need be so we, we do have quite a lot of water there but it's just gonna be a case of that big farm there's not a huge amount so we're gonna have to watch out for that yeah like here there we go Oh, and it's just by magic. It's, it's, it's like the game heard me. It is raining. We're actually getting rain. Right, that whole time we caught absolutely nothing. Like, so spearfishing is pretty, pretty defunct. I think basically if you want to spearfish in winter, you probably have to be at least level four or five just to be able to have a decent chance of catching things. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that the chance of you catching things in general is a lot slimmer during winter. So really you're going to be wanting to fish during the peak times like i said so actually i probably should have fished a little bit now rather than stop because this is peak time isn't it yeah um keep going come on just for, just for another hour no doesn't look like we're gonna catch anything uh oh it's very dark now oh oh dear <laughs> i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see the traps um well let's just walk uh walk up to there come on follow the path around well, it took a while but we finally found the traps uh Right, still got bait. Okay, peanuts for them. Uh, no. No, we definitely don't want to sleep on the ground right now. No, thank you. Okay, it doesn't look like we caught anything. That's a massive shame. <gasps> right, we've caught something. Check trap. What did we get? Oh my god, we got a cow. <laughs> okay, um... Um, I don't know what to do. What, what do we do? We actually caught a cow. We do have the slapper knife on us. Uh, we're going to have to drop this. Oh my god, we've actually got a cow. <laughs> Look at it. Okay. Uh, chop dead cow. We caught a cow. <laughs> we got cow skin. Oh my god, right. Okay, everything go in there. That's incredible. We did actually catch the cow. Cow ribs. Now that's interesting. How many ribs? Oh my god, look at the hunk you get from them. Can we remove the traps? That's still got bait on it. But I'll pick that one up next time. We can make a cow rug. Oh, my dreams are coming true. We've just got the bison to go and then we're done. We're good. We've hunted everything. I thought this episode hadn't been particularly productive, but actually after that, put a whole new uh, perspective on everything. <laughs> We've got steak. Oh, Logan, you uh, you can actually have decent meal for once. We've got fresh cooked steak. Look at them all. You've got steak. You've got ribs. Oh, you're a very, very lucky man. I'm very jealous of you right now. Well, not really. <laughs> I'm, je I'm jealous of your food. I'm not I'm not jealous of your situation. What can we do with ribs? Cut cow ribs. Oh, okay. Just cut them into smaller ones. Okay. Let's just cut one up. See what that does. Cow short ribs. How many do we get of them? Four. And what's the hunger on them? 16. So that's uh, 64. Okay, so it is better to do that. So we've got a cow head. What do we do with a cow head? What do we do with a cow head? <laughs> Oh, we, we overslept by a lot. Oh, dear. Oh, it's really heavy snowing. Oh, dear. It must be really cold. Uh, we're going to have to do something quick. Uh, right, we need to put our 
cow head somewhere. I need to check on our crops because I'm worried if it's too cold that it might harm the indoor crops we've got going. There we go. Cow head can go there. Underneath the stairs. There we go. <laughs> got a cow head. Oh, God. Oh, it's only just minus, but it snowed a lot. So actually, if it went up in temperature a little bit, it would probably turn into rain. Uh, what is this now? Oh, it's full. Okay, we can, we can just carry on farming then. That's not a problem. The health is still 100 despite the fact it's indoors and everything. That's fine. Seed bearing tomatoes. Hello. There we go. Okay, 24 tomatoes, 24 seeds. Seems decent. We've gone up in farming. Excellent. It doesn't seem to have unlocked anything else. Maybe when we get to level 8, we'll be able to see when the next growing phase is. That would be cool. Oh, it's actually raining. Oh, good. Um, well, at least I know that it can rain during winter, so I might make a couple of extra barrels then, if that's the case. Oh, it looks like we've got lots of traps that have been sprung. Excellent. Oh, and all the snow's gone, because <laughs> it went above melting. Fine. We got four dead rabbits. We got one squirrel. How much nutrition? 36 meat. That's amazing. Okay, so we got that from a carrot, which gives three, and only a portion of that anyway. Right, okay, rabbits are definitely the way to go. How much nutrition do you get from squirrels? Barely any. Okay, carrots are probably the way to go then, rather than squirrels. I think, I think we've got enough freezer space. I think we're coping during winter. I know it's still early winter, but we are coping. So I think, I think we'll be fine. So anyway, let's go upstairs. We, I've barely been upstairs at all. I think um, I, I need to finish up, upstairs. It shouldn't be raining through there. Okay, well, I'm definitely doing that between episodes, <laughs> figuring out why that isn't indoors. I'm guessing because of the doors. Uh, let's have a look at this. How long? How long left? Over halfway. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> anyway, let's do the cabbage patch. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like Wisdom, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Steph, Pet, Overlord, Sarath, Drew, Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, Tablar, Gry, Carlara, Daniel, Damer, Len, Wolf, AJ, Andrew, Mitch, Alex, MBH, Nexus, Lorby Lord, and T Chaos. Thank you so much, guys. Between now and next episode, I'm going to continue to do a little bit of trapping, see what we can do. I'm going to probably try and sort this, this room out, at least get the uh, the walls done, at least the wooden walls anyway. Well, I'm going to try and get the doors in so they actually count as inside. After that, I think what I need to do is think about going to the mainland. I desperately need to get some more bits, the ice cream tray especially. I think I, I will leave the farm actually. I was going to plant some more crops, but I think I'll leave it because I think if we go to the mainland, we don't know how long we're going to be. So stuff might die by the time we get back. But I need to go to the mainland for ice cream tray. I need to go for any ammo and bullets that we can find so we can dismantle them to get our skill up a bit uh, any guns for the same reason uh, we need to find a couple of magazines so the gourmet ones the ammo ones if we're really lucky maybe like a waffle maker and a sausage maker that would be like amazing because once we got them i think that's all the items that we ever need then we can come back and we can <laughs> oh and and a club hammer that's it i need a club hammer so that i can uh, break up the gypsum that we found once we've got all of them I would safely say that our, we, our base is pretty much set for any survivors. The only thing would be gas, but I will at some point make the gas station safe. I'll probably make a wall, probably spend a few days over there making that gas station safe. I think that's probably the best thing to do if I can't find solar panels, is make it safe, make it easy so that boats can go back and forth. And I think, I think I'm happy to call it a day on the series at that point. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.